Elon Musk's Neuralink company has applied to the FDA to begin human trials of their brain-computer interface. The company anticipates beginning human testing of the device in 2023, after it has been approved for such use. The company's long-term vision is to make it possible for the blind to see again and for people who have lost limbs to walk again. As soon as these devices are fully functional, Musk plans to implant one into his own brain. Yeah, just as you heard. Let's explore why Neuralink could be a great breakthrough for humanity next year. With all the buzz surrounding Elon Musk's Twitter takeover, Mars rocket launches, autonomous electric vehicles, and humanoid robots, it's understandable that you might have forgotten about his work on brain implants. The topic at hand is, indeed, microchips made specifically for human brain implantation. Neuralink's long-term goals are kind of unpredictable, like those of many of Elon Musk's other endeavors. It is hoped that one day a human-computer interface can be created that will allow us to use only our minds to command computers. In the near future, we hope to aid those with spinal cord or brain injuries in regaining some of their former abilities. Musk suggested at a recent Neuralink event that the device could be used to help the blind see again and the paralyzed walk again. How exactly will Neuralink function? The fact that Neuralink can decipher our mental processes is essentially its selling point. According to the website, Neuralink will be able to communicate with tens of thousands of neurons in the human brain. The neurons in our central nervous systems are the fundamental cells that make us human. It is the route that the thought, pick up that glass, takes before it's embodied in a physical movement of the arm and hand. Neuralink's goal is to translate our thoughts into physical actions by synchronizing with these nerve cells. For those with impaired motor skills or brain injuries, this would be a game changer. Imagine a person whose hands and speech have been paralyzed by amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. Not the easiest thing to say. It may be difficult to communicate with others if you find yourself in this position. Those equipped with Neuralink would only need to think the words they wanted spoken and the device would transmit those thoughts via Bluetooth to a smart speaker or other device that would then speak the words aloud. It could make it possible for them to do things like make online purchases, arrange for appointments, and even go grocery shopping without ever touching a computer. If it works, it will be groundbreaking technology, the stuff of science fiction. In regards to rehabilitating people with severed spinal cords, Musk has stated, we're confident there are no physical limitations to restoring full body functionality. The potential applications are vast. It has been suggested that people with disabilities could use it to help with memory and cognitive function by bridging gaps between different parts of the brain. As with any groundbreaking innovation, it's likely that many interesting uses for this technology will emerge only after it's been widely adopted. Although it's going to take a lot of work for innovation, Elon Musk's hastily funded experiments with brain chips from Neuralink resulted in the deaths of over a thousand animals. Government officials are reportedly looking into allegations that Elon Musk's Neuralink violated animal welfare laws. As indicated by documents reviewed by Reuters and sources familiar with the investigation and company operations, employees filed the complaints claiming the company was rushing animal testing, which led to unnecessary pain and death. Neuralink is working on a brain implant that will enable the paralyzed to walk again, the blind to see, and the disabled to operate technology without using their bodies. Musk, Neuralink's founder, recently voiced optimism that human trials of the brain chip could begin in as little as six months. American officials have been investigating Neuralink's animal testing practices for some time. According to two sources with knowledge of the investigation, the US Inspector General has been looking into the matter. A federal prosecutor requested that the Department of Agriculture investigate the situation. All eyes are on Musk. One of the sources claims that the investigation is focusing on potential violations of the Animal Welfare Act, which governs the treatment and testing of specific animals in scientific research. Over the course of their investigation, Reuters spoke with over 20 current and former Neuralink employees and reviewed dozens of company documents and covering complaints about CEO Musk's pressure on employees to accelerate development which allegedly resulted in botched experiments and an increase in the number of animals tested and killed. According to company documents and sources familiar with animal testing practices, approximately 1,500 animals have died at the hands of the company since 2018. 
more than 280 sheep, pigs, and monkeys are included in this total. Reports indicate that the company does not keep accurate records of the number of animals it uses for experiments or kills, so this estimate was likely off by a significant margin. Neuralink has performed animal trials on rats and mice to ensure the safety of their products. Even now, Musk and the other top executives at Neuralink have said nothing about the situation. Even if Neuralink kills a large number of animals, the company's ethical and legal compliance may not be in question. Although the traditional goal of using animals in research has always been to benefit human health, many companies now feel time and money pressured to rush new products to market. Usually, when an experiment is finished with an animal, the animal will be put to sleep and its body will be dissected for further study. Existing and former Neuralink staff members are worried that Musk's push to accelerate the research process will lead to the needless slaughter of animals. By combining through company conversations, documents spanning several years, and employee interviews, Reuters was able to identify four experiments in which human errors affected 86 pigs and two monkeys in recent years. According to Elon Musk, human trials on the Neuralink brain chip transplantation will begin six months from now. Musk, who has kept the device's intended use secret for months, has finally revealed it. Before implanting a device into a human, we want to be extremely careful and certain that it will work well, he explained. Human Neuralink uploads will be possible in about six months, as most of the required paperwork has been submitted to the FDA. Suppose the potential of brain chip interfaces developed by Neuralink pans out. In that case, people with disabilities can communicate and move around with greater ease, allowing them to lead more independent lives. Despite having requested permission to begin human clinical trials, Neuralink has continued testing on animals. Most of the necessary paperwork has been submitted to the FDA, and human Neuralink uploads should be possible in about six months. Just days before the event began on October 31st, Musk pushed back the date. About a year and a half ago, at a public demonstration by Neuralink, a monkey had a brain chip implanted that allowed it to play a video game by simply thinking about it. Musk's ideas for the human settlement of Mars and saving the world have catapulted him to prominence. When he launched Neuralink in 2016, it was to advance similar lines of inquiry. Eventually, this chip could be used to treat neurological disorders like Parkinson's and Alzheimer's, and even to restore mobility to the paralyzed. The potential benefits of combining human and AI skills are also investigated. It seems that Neuralink currently needs to catch up. Musk stated that he anticipated receiving clearance by the year's end. By 2023, he hoped to have started testing on humans. Former and current Neuralink employees have been quoted in reports saying that many internal deadlines for obtaining US Food and Drug Administration approval to begin human trials were missed. Reuters reported that after Musk expressed his frustration with Neuralink to Synchron's employees in August, he contacted them to express his gratitude for their efforts. In July, Synchron took a huge step forward in developing its technology by implanting its device in a patient in the United States. When will the first human trials take place in 2023? Tell us in the comments, leave a like, and subscribe for more videos like this.